So, uh, yes, thank you ever so much. And before I go, I must finish in the traditional way by asking that when I say Earl Grey, you say yes, please. Earl Grey? Yes, please. Earl Grey? Yes, please. When I say Assam, you say lovely. Assam? Lovely. Assam? Lovely. Thank you. Hit it, Mr. Sam. <laughs> I want a stage dive, but I know we're just ending. It would end in casualty, wouldn't it? <laughs> I need to stuff the ground, stuff the shade of an eagle, made warm by the same lot that I take my cakes from. Using a teapot of marble fine china, been hooked up to ivies for a constant supply. No drink for my urges, my verge of perversity, but for earthy brown tea, I'm certain it's worth it. With shirt who you work hard and use a fresh fountain. I've discerned brews from Peruvian mountains. I slurped up a cover from an elephant's trunk with a couple of monks who utterly stunk. I've had bourbon with Sultans and creams with creams. I bathed in Earl Grey. I'm really that keen. Now missionaries have dismissed my single epiphany. The difference between him and me is a simple sip of British tea. So when time to harder life is rough, you can stick the kettle on and find me a cup. Now when I say Earl Grey, you say yes, please. Earl Grey? Yes, please. Earl Grey? Yes, please. When I say Assam, you say lovely. Assam? Lovely. Assam? Lovely. When I say BB, you say Black Dog BB. Black Dog BB. Black Dog BB. Black dog. BB. Weird I've been around the world in easy route to see the place it takes me to to make a brew that tastes like the crease case made by angels do. And not the same as you get shaky with aim. This week amazing fluids but don't make it the same. I use in fine leaves, picked by pretty maidens in a back of the bus, just a lazy Copenhagen, who'd help in a pot made of semi-precious metal. The blessing comes and settle in my very special kettle. When I say herbal, you say no thanks, herbal. No thanks. Herbal. No thanks. When I say steam, you say bum. Fantastic!